all right guys so welcome back today we return to another episode of grand theft auto 5. so today is march 30th at the time of me recording this and probably when this video is going to go up and today is my birthday i am officially past 30. i am 31 years old and we have been doing this for nearly eight years and every single year is just better than the previous one and i just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with me I never thought I'd get here and obviously I never thought I'd have so many people just following me along this journey and just watching me play video games and honestly I just wanted to celebrate us as as a community and I know right now we're playing games that have already been played and have already been seen but next week we have a brand new Lego Star Wars so that's gonna be super exciting and um, I will be doing a full series on that 120% but today I'm gonna try and, and, and bring uh, some sort of uh, on top of this obviously this week i've got to bring a horror game and there's one particular horror game that i've been eyeing that i know i've seen so many people recommend but i'm not going to say it because i want it to kind of be a surprise but uh anyways here here we are with michael we just finished the Polito heist um and man oh man it is by far i think the best heist in the game in the story that is right now we're still here in the trailer parks trevor county and uh Obviously, we're still kind of hiding from everything. So we're going to go back to Trevor's house. And we will continue this journey. Today, I'm going to try and record for about an hour and a half, two hours. So make it a little bit lengthier. God, if you can hear me, please strike me. Because now is when the story starts to get a little crazy. Okay? Things start coming to light. Revelations, betrayal. We'll see if we get there. Let's just, we'll play it by ear. Derailed. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete, living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat, and now you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. <laughs> tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. <laughs> yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby. Yeah. Oh. This better be fucking good. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Fuck. Ah, oh. man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home. This is how you repay me. It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. <laughs> what the get a boat. And meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. I have to say, I actually like this haircut for Trevor. Whenever I played this game, I never really did it because it's just honestly, in my opinion, it's a very ugly haircut. Let's let's be honest. There is nothing attractive right, so about this haircut. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes our work. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Don't leave without me! 
Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, oh, 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 getting changed? What if, what have you turned oh, into? No. Oh shit, it was here. I always get confused. Oh! Hold on. I always screw this up, dude. Always. I mean, I honestly knew. Don't leave without me. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Oh my goodness. I thought we were done for. I, I honestly thought I was just screwed. Drive along the train to the end. Okay. <laughs> I swear. It's like this game is notorious for like insanely annoying and irritating train missions. Let's think about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for a second. Same shit, right? But as I was saying, this haircut fits Trevor absolutely perfect. This is this is the mullet, man. He's just the mullet. It goes with him. Howdy. I was in denial for so long. Now I've realized There's that is my true calling. On this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merryweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, Oh my boys. god. This guy's a fucking psycho. This guy's just casually, Damn. uh... Damn, I ain't far out. You under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'm powering Casually sleeping in front of me. <laughs> All right. Go to the rail bridge. I might actually go to a barber shop and shave Michael's head and then give him that Max Payne uh, buttoned up shirt. I think they did that on purpose. I think we talked about this previously, slightly. I'm thinking that that's supposed to be a Mike, uh, Max a Payne life, Easter egg. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, I can roll. because it's about to start raining fire. Oh my, what the fuck? I do not remember him crashing like that. And jumping into the lake. See, that's that's a fucking hazard right there. You could have died. Are you stupid? Okay, so use the sticky bombs to blow up, blow open the orange container doors. Now, if I was a speed free camp. <laughs> now, if I was a speed free cannibal, what would I blow up a train to steal? Don't be smart. Find the loot. Our moment of judgment is fast approaching. Trigger the thing. Hold on, dude. I'm gonna just blow up here. Nice. Ah, let's get rich, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. This looks so nice. But hold on. It seems like we've got company. Merryweather recovery teams arrive! Shit. I always seem to forget that Trevor's got the most effective uh, ability in the game when it comes to gun to gun combat. Oh shit, we've got a chopper up top. Alright, he's dead. You dead. And you dead. Geronimo! Well, ah, oh, fuck. Thank the Lord for a 
auto aim or aim assist. Snipers on the bridge. Look at this. Oh, oh, on my rifle. Hold on. Sure. Not a problem, Mikey. Snipers are down. So don't let that keep you. Bullshit. Oh, wow. Now the parachute <laughs> regiment turns up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Find something, Mike. Find something. Man, I forgot how fucking awesome this was. About fucking time. Come on. I forgot how stinking awesome this mission was. In the boat, come on. Hold up. All right, let's get it. Get out of here. Down river. We got both on us. Nature, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada. Get these boats off of us. Uh, I'm trying here. One second, please. They got guys on land. Oh, I hope to see your eyes. See, the boats are not blowing up like the cars. So this is more difficult. And by nice, I mean lame. Escape down the rapids. Okay. Dude, I forgot how cool this mission really was. This is freaking awesome. Chopper, right behind us. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing train, exploding helicopters and sinking. Boats. All right. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Land at the beach. <laughs> this guy's hair. Oh, man. You work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Hmm. Is that our truck over there? Wow, we've got a getaway vehicle and everything? Not bad. Not bad, boys. Seems like you planned all of this really nicely. I have a feeling that buggy's gonna be horrible. Oh, his and hers, if huh? If I recall. Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. Perfect. Perfect for fucking what? for squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board, we can do this thing, T. 
This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Oh, of course, leave me the buggy. Shitty ass car. For a shitty haircut. <laughs> Mission passed! Alright, so do we have any mis- Oh! Hello? Townley's on the line too. Hey, Trev. Alright. Hold on, give me a second. I just want to make sure that we don't have any missions with Trevor. It seems like we don't have any missions with Trevor, but we do have one with Franklin. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff. Get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend. The gangbanger. And you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit. Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. With the gangbanger. <laughs> so fucked up. Oh my god. Okay, so... I guess we do have a mission with Trevor now. Oh, there's that. Have I mentioned how much I hate that FB, F, FIB agent? I mean, he's... We've talked about this. It's just one of those characters that... I don't know, man. It just pisses me off. His whole character pisses me off. Hold on there. This is a setup, isn't it? Yeah, motherfuckers, eh? They took the fucking money down the hill, huh? Whoa. Get up! Yo, what the fuck? What sort of criminal shit's going on here? Wait, why do I have to go to the passenger door? Don't do it! Stay away from that case! Now, you are a dead man! Ah! Is that so? You must not know about me and my FIB connections, pal. I'm in with the law, okay? I'm in with the government. I am protected at all times. I don't know, man. Let's see. I have a feeling I've picked up this case. Ah, oh, oh, shit! There we go. I should have mind my own business. Well, I'll be fucked. Y'all came and fucked with the wrong. Oh, hold on, this man fell off his bike. How are you gonna try and be gangster and fall off your bike like that? Man, you're an embarrassment. You know that? But thanks. All right, we are here. Have heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh. All right. I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck 
is useless. Oh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock that shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie! I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die? Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, mister! Leisure wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? This fucking guy, dude. Major Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you and neoprene. Is oh my god, they brought this dude enemies. along. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Navigate down the coastline. What a shit show, man. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. <laughs> A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! So freaking cool. Swim in, swim in, swim in. What a dope ass mission, dude. I still can't believe they brought along Dave. <laughs> Roger that, sir. Well, here we are. Okay, using the oxy hydro cutter on the grill. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right. I gotta have to hold it. So, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Do it. All right, 
Alright, so gain entry to the lab. The fact that these two actually came. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? Respect. The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught. Remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. I'm gonna try my best in this episode to get to the part where we go out of this map and go into the, you know, the big revelation between Michael and Trevor. I'm gonna see if I can get to that point within this episode. If not, the next one is gonna be for sure, for sure. Final turbine, nearly there. That's an air pocket. Take it up to the surface, people. Here we are. There's a ladder there. Get up it. Sir, yes, sir. At the flare still. <laughs> How are we? Huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Dave, you're on point. I'm leading from the rear. Against the wall, quick! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Charge him up, Mike. <laughs> Can we get a move on? That's well, right, we got a taser gun. You, don't be a hero. Drop your weapon. <laughs> Fuck that, okay. dude. Just taser all of them. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. This is such a tenseful mission. You know we're about to be spotted. Out, out, out. Collect a swipe card. Now, up. How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. You see the lab gigs? I don't want trouble from these two. All right. Incap incapacitate the lab workers. Sure. Not a problem. Please. Please, please. Put your hands up. No, no. Get don't on your knees, me. sucker. We got to keep moving. Along here and to the left. I mean, we've got legit real guns here. Oh no, this is a real. Hold on. Stun gun. Go sit there. Bring it to them. Hold on. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Oh God. This is them. Take them out or let them go. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkeys. Go on. A tiny amount on your head. They've gone. We've got some time. All right, good. I thought they were going to see the dead body, or not the dead bodies, but the stunned bodies. It just disappeared on us. Perfect. Cont decontamination. Work. You got the access card. Swipe us in. Here we go. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do lab this. Rat. Door now. What's going on? He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I'm on it. Fuck. You! Hands up! Back up! Back up! And freeze! We get collateral! You might be safe, but Big Brain here isn't. Open! The special agents have the door. <laughs> Go in there and secure our nerve agent. 
Over there, now. Very nice. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh man. Thank you, federal government. Put the humanitarians to sleep, Michael. <laughs> humanitarians. <gasps> Damn it! We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. Security alert! What Security the fuck? Alert. Facility breach. Of course. Why not? Oh. You got the right weapon. This is about to get real. Shit. You got the security guards. Well, they're go they're gone. Let's keep moving. I'm through here. I don't want to be here either. Oh. Shit! It's hot. Oh. Oh. Damn! He almost fucking killed me. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Put out the shoddy. Left. We need to be gone before the whole place gets shut down. Let's do this. That's right, bitch. Get behind something. Oh, I hear monkeys. Are you guys experimenting on monkeys? definitely where the pandemic started oh hold on we've got some health right here what happens if i kill the monkey oh you can kill the monkeys oh man i feel like a turd all right somebody open up the loading bay let's get this reinforcements should be arriving wouldn't be surprised if they had the whole county on lockdown the military? Oh, fuck. You chose the wrong line of war. Did I just get a collateral? What are you waiting for? Look at this idiot. Hey, you work for yeah. the wrong branch of the government. Oh, my motherfucker. <laughs> Wait. Ha ha ha. Let's go, bitch. I don't want to be around when Michael takes a bullet in the test tube. Right in the fucking dome. Depressed? Get the agent in the refrigeration unit. It's over in that container. Come on. All right, put the nerve toxin into the refrigerator. Or refrigeration. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. having a government who, who hires a meth selling meth head to operate a chopper that you spend millions and millions on oh shit only in grand theft auto wait 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 wait, wait. hold on just give me a second here Hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Frank. 
Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Land the trailer. Wheeler. <laughs> I completely forgot. What a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> what a disaster. Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, huh? you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what. You can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's going to be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. So but God. we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you. I know. Me? I know. Drive Patricia to the farmhouse. This man, bro. Everyone I love abandons me, he said. That's a good comeback. I'm not abandoning you. I'm just going home. Like, damn. Uh, that's a good one. That, that's a good one. Next time your girlfriend breaks up with you, or actually you break up with your girlfriend or your, or your boyfriend, just tell him that. Listen, I'm not breaking up with you. I'm just, I'm just going home. <laughs> I'll just fuck up this guy's house a little bit. Just a bit. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! 
I will, amigo. Otherwise, the other ear, of course. The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. The poor boy. Damn. Go bad for him. Monkey business. All right, so we have here. Hmm. Another Trevor mission here seems like. And this is all the way over here. Why is it so far off? Bro, does this guy have like a dope ass car here that I can just steal and get rid of this dump? Alrighty, back at the beach house. Here we go. Where's the stairs? Right up here. I miss you already. Oh my god, I think this is when his girlfriend's here. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. And well, there goes that. Oh, what a fucking lunatic, dude. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Mm. Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Can I go in there? This guy's so crazy. He just killed him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got. Oh, stop. 
stupid do you have Garrett? to be? Yeah! Syrup! Accident! We've all been there! We sure have! Trevor! But... But go take that, Garrett! Don't! What the me. fuck? Alright? Just... No licking! Okay. Hey! You remember when we met? Sure! Last year! God, I'm sorry for this fucking disgusting I was on the gathering with Gaggy Bell and Kush Kronk and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy not like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? Oh, that's right. We take over the strip club. Here, right here. Here. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. What a fucking nut job! Holy smokes! Sheesh. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. To my darling, I hope, uh, you choke on this Amanda. <laughs> All right, um... So go over to Trevor. Hold on. Do I get out of here? It's a nice house. Whatever happened to the other car we are parked up here in the garage? Is it still here? Oh, it's still here. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. <laughs> Bro, are those hood caps dollar signs? We're on a strict schedule, and there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the 
repository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Of course. It's down below. Hello. Is it? Oh, no. It's right here. What am I doing? That would have sucked if I would have gone all the way down and then have to come back. Oh, man. Nice drive. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. All right. Over to Trevor Phillips. Oh, God. Drive to the airfield. Oh, Lester's here with us. Nice. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on. 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. <laughs> oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job. I want your... We're down on Alta uh -oh. Street. Coming up on the back uh -oh. of the bank. Uh-oh. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was. But now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit. 1330, we're an hour down, two to go. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails. He's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will, but I gotta talk to you, too. You're planning this. Oh, God. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Yeah, this is when Trevor... You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. This is when Trevor starts inquiring about, you know, their ex-con friend. Well, that's going to be a shitstorm in itself. Let's see how far along we get into that story. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah. You are flying in restricted oh, airspace. Fuck me. Turn around immediately. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. Government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. <laughs> mm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, it's 
you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Cover, how you doing? Uh, well... <sighs> Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. We just have to keep recording them? Gotta be careful, don't wanna crash into any sort of what building. What about here? here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Oh god, we're going downtown here. Pull back from the security trucks. Oh, fuck! What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. The same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I'm gonna keep my distance here. I think they do churn though. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! I remember doing this mission and crashing against one of the buildings. I'm picking up the cars right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Perfect. Nice. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Uh. Wouldn't it be there? Would it be this construction site or no? Ah! Got him. There's your big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. I need to be above, shooting down into it. Just 
slowly but surely, Lester. Just relax. Come on, man. How much more footage do you need? Fuck. Fucking crash here. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on, and then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor. <laughs> hey, Willie, I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk. All right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. I forgot we had this nice house now. We're playing with Franklin now, obviously. Uh, oh, hey, shit. Michael didn't have any other missions, and neither did uh, Trevor. So, just a process of elimination Ooh, here. Close. Hey, Molly, I'm outside the studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. <laughs> find the actor. Be down this road here. Spruce salad has pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. <laughs> Deep inside. Ooh, looking smooth, man. Shit. I just changed my clothes for this mission, and it, it turns out that it was useless. Get in the car. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Badass fuck. Anyone car. know who this guy is? What the hell are you doing? He's the new stunt guy. Oh shit. Look at the actor. That's a beautiful Move fucking car. Over, get off the wheel. I need to get the fuck out of here. They're coming. Studio security are all over you. You gotta watch out, Paul. They ain't gonna be on us long. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not oh at all. Oh my god. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested. 
larger than the whip. What's this? Spikes? What do you mean? I can buy this car with what I make in a morning. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go, bitch. I can buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you un Whoa, that's what's up. <laughs> I think you underestimate the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Why is this car doing this? Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Damn, what's this button do? <laughs> if you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his ride. Marathon there. training. All right, cool. I got the car. No oh drum. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Yeah, I think it's like somebody was controlling the car or had like an anti-theft mechanism where I'd be driving this car and it just slams itself against something else. That's a cop car. Hopefully they don't notice that this is a stolen car. Is it here? I totally don't have blood in the front of my car. Totally not blood. Look at this man. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? It's smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. <laughs> what it is, home? <laughs> Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not <laughs> on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Fucking hell. All right, now we got, we've got a Michael mission. Should we do this Lester one though? Let me see. How far is it from here? Let me see. Uh, it's right around the corner. Fuck it, we'll do it. I kind of wish I could take those vehicles though and just, you know? Sorry about that, sweetie. Ah. Sorry, pumpkin. Oh, Lester. I wonder if this is the last it's one. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast development is about to go under. 
And let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. These missions are, honestly, they're quite fun. Like, these lesser missions are really fun. Kind of like assassination hits, you know? Pretty cool. I like them. price on me and you're telling me to calm down i'm going to stay near the chopper you dumb fucks do your job oh yeah this is massive get to the rooftop this is private ah. 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 where's enzo oh, ah. oh shit Fuck, this place is loaded. I'll kill you. Uh, Take cover now. Where the fuck is he? I'll place all you fools if I have to. <laughs> Damn, Franklin, calm down, man. All right, let's go straight ahead. I think the elevator was this way, maybe. Oh my God, the last bullet. That's hilarious. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers. Hey, where's the elevator, dude? Was it? Oh, here it is. Fuck. Damn, I need a fucking um. I need to make it. All right, here we go. Damn. Yo, that elevator's quick, bro. <laughs> you wanna fuck with me? I lay all y'all ass down. That's right, bitch. I lay your ass out. Yeah. I ain't playing here. Where the fuck is Benelli? This dude is serious, man. Fuck. Kind of scaring me here, frankly. Hold on, I'm gonna play this smart. He's here! Get that pump! Ah! Oh, my health is getting low, dude. Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? Right, let's go this way. Oh shit. They just keep popping up, even on the radar. There he is! <laughs> Another elevator? Sure, why not? Drum reloaded. I fell through that gap there. Convenient. Right, hold on. Oh, my God. Is 
Let's get it, boys. We're about to parachute. Off of the most incredible scenery in all of Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god, this just. <laughs> this is high as fuck. Oh my god. Dear gosh. Man, what? This is some fucking dying light shit. I'm scared of heights. I couldn't be. I, I, I couldn't do this. Oh, scrap collected. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. This is dope. Success. It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Fucking John Wick in this shit. Nice. Alright, so we have to go. Uh, let's go to Michael here. Let's go to Michael. Reset again? How far is this? Oh, that's my house. Oh shit. Oh, I think this is the mission. Could this be the mission? Huh. Let's find out. We're about to freaking find out. Carry the hatchet. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <sighs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? 
I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. Let me, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Oh, where's my other car? Well, that's that's great. Somebody just took my fucking car. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear. And reason thought. Finally. Stop your car. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. <sighs> I'm not going to listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Just stop your car. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of oh my God. Sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Stupid jerk! Oh, Shit. man. This is the mission, in fact. Oh, shit. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. <laughs> this is so insane. It's one of the best fucking missions in the entire game. I'm so hyped. Go to the second level terminal entrance. Ah, that's what the game wanted me to. Okay. Hey, you my dude, right? Hello. Yeah. Well, I didn't take it. Going upstairs. I haven't been over in weeks. We broke up. Remember? Hi. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, they think they're that they're oh my god. His boyfriend arrived at the airport. Ludendorff Listen, Cemetery. Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me. Amanda, it was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. 
His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. So depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Oh boy. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The day is blown. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Go to your cemetery. To your grave. Not your cemetery, man. Your grave. God, did I love this freaking mission? Bro. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time. Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? <laughs> Fuck! You. Fuck. Fuck. Joe Phillips, Mr. Cho has requested a word. Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, how's it doing? How's it doing? Get the boyfriend. Oh my, get the boy boyfriend. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> get in the. Oh my God. Come on. Guys, come on. Let's have a talk. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the van! Find it! You see her! You are going nowhere! He's getting away! Oh, they've got an AR right there. It's like these guys have got like body armor or something. No 
Fucking eat bullets. This is how many guys you send to kill Trevor Phillips. It's hilarious how they think we're boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> You're way off, asshole. All right, coast is clear here. Put down the weapon. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus You're making a mistake. You should have gone in. The other nice. guy. We're gonna go now. Ah oh, man, these guys are fucking resilient. And another man. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. If you were local, you'd know the train comes by right now. <laughs> Trevor. Fuck! Oh my god. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. Alright, alright. Get out the fucking car. This man. <laughs> Fly back to Sandy Shores Airfield. This man, of course, he would come in plane. That was great. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes. Thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together <laughs> with the maid. <laughs> and then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover. Yeah, right. That's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Hey, crazy man, meet me at my crib. Me and Frank gonna roll that last car for the rich dude. You mean? One of my favorite characters in the entire game is 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 uh, Lamar. That's. And I'm sure almost everyone feels like that. Like Lamar is just, he's just dope, dude. The really cool character. Big props to the voice actor too. He's awesome. Right. Mission passed. Hell you. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, yeah, you see, we have a mission with Davey. But I think we're going to end it here. Yeah, I think we'll we'll call this episode quits here. We've done a decent amount of missions. The story is now just starting to really get down and dirty. A lot of uh, secrets have been revealed, and a lot of friendships have been... Uh... Yeah, hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> Hey, are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patricia, 
I really miss you. Our time together was, was very important. I have to go. Oh, God. All right, guys. So we'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. That is disgusting. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you want to see more GTA 5 here, PS5 on the channel. Drop it a like. Stay tuned to the channel because the next coming days, we're going to start a new series, the Lego Star Wars. And a new horror game will be here on the channel within the next few days as well. So, thanks again. I'll catch you later.